The more you know, the more your bank account will grow. Today, I want to share with you 11 understandings about real estate that can change your tax bracket. One of the things that I love about our real estate business is that the more we understand the business, the more we come to a place where we grow as far as our knowledge about what's important in this business, the more typically our business will grow and consequently the more that our income will grow. What I want to do today is, is I want to break down 11 understandings that took me some time that maybe I wish I would have learned a little sooner that hopefully by you hearing these, it helps you grow your business even faster than you ever imagined. The first understanding is this, it's not about you. This business is not about you. I grew up at a time and you'll see a lot of people that will advertise about we're number one, I've sold the most houses, all of these different types of marketing that it puts the light on the agent. In reality, it's not even about us. It's about solving the problems and meeting the needs of our clients. What is it that buyers want to know most? Provide that information. Deflect the light off yourself onto the issue that's facing most people that are thinking about buying. What is it that sellers want information-wise the most? What is their biggest concern? What is the thing that they lack the knowledge about that you can provide? You see, when you shift the focus from being on yourself and you shift it to the most important part of your business, which is your clients, all of a sudden your business begins to grow. Just making this simple shift, it will fundamentally change your business going forward. The second understanding is that relationships are greater than transactions. I remember when I first got into the business, it was so focused on next, next transaction, next transaction. I'm going to get to 100 transactions. I'm going to get to 200 transactions. I'm going to get to 25, whatever it is for you. The goal is on the transactions. If you can just shift that focus a little bit and understand that if you can build deep relationships, I promise they will take your business wide. If you'll focus on the people, I promise the transactions will follow. Number three is the more you know, the more you grow. Become a student of your local market. Become a student of your contract. Become the person who has the best information and can provide the most details about everything that goes on in your community and I promise you'll attract more clients. Become that person that understands what's happening in your city, what are the new infrastructure things that are coming or that are in place right now that are gonna help future growth. What are the numbers for your, for your market? How many listings do you have now versus what you had at the first of the year as far as things that are on the market? What are the average days on the market? You see, when you begin to understand and you know more, I promise your business will grow more. The fourth understanding is, is that you're a marketing company that happens to sell real estate. You see, marketing is everything. You can be the best agent in the world, but if people don't know who you are and the value you bring, it's going to be irrelevant. So when we fundamentally understand that the basics of this business are marketing, the way that you market yourself, the way that you market the listings that you get, the way that you market the opportunities to help your buyers find the right house. What is it you're doing to grow your knowledge in marketing? Because the better you get at marketing, the faster your business is going to grow. The next understanding is, is that your vibe attracts your tribe. Be authentic. Who you are is exactly who you should be when it comes to marketing. When you put yourself out there and you're authentic to people, you will authentically draw the ideal client for you. I've had certain people that have said, well, I don't know if what I, who I am is going to attract the right people. It's going to attract the exact right person for your business. If you're someone that loves having a good time, you want to draw people that have a good time. If you're someone that is very stats oriented or you're very focused on the investment side and you're very analytical, share who you are as an analytical person and you'll draw more analytical people, which is the perfect client for you. You see, when you get authentic with who you are, ideal clients just happen to show up immediately. Number six is, is that video is a must. You know what's crazy to me is, is that I will get calls from my kids and actually my kids don't call me with the phone. They call me with FaceTime. You see that personality that they want to see. They want to be able to see me when they call me. They want to be able to actually connect because what we found obviously is, is that when you send an email, there's a different tone that comes through that because the tone that is read in that is the tone that they want to read into that. But when you actually send a video message or when you send a video text or when you create and market through video, there's no doubt who you are. When you're watching this video, my energy hopefully is coming through where you understand who I am and who how passionate I am about this business. If I were just to send you a text, 
it's very difficult for that to come through. When I'm looking right into the camera, it's like I'm talking directly to you. Video is an absolute must in this business, and the quicker you understand that and begin to shift to that, the faster your business can grow. Next up is there's no such thing as a past client. Can you imagine going to the doctor's office and after you've been there for the first visit, they begin to call you the past client, the person they treated. Or maybe you had someone that maybe you had worked with in the past that was a professional and they began to talk to you about as being a past client. You see, we are actually building clients for life. What are you doing to build clients that have a relationship with you over the long term? People that will do business with you in the future, but also people that will send you referrals and additional business as they have the opportunity. You see, when we come to a place where we understand the value that a client has is not in the initial transaction, but in the relationship and over time, how many transactions that one transaction can lead to, all of a sudden now we begin to focus on those relationships and we understand that there's no such thing as a past client. The next understanding is that leads are a three-step process. You see, you can generate all the leads in the world, but if you don't have a system in place to move them from lead generation, which is getting those leads, to the part of lead nurturing, which is building the relationship and the trust and moving them from knowing you, liking you to the trust, and then also to lead conversion, which is where the transactions actually happen. You see, when you understand each of these three processes and you begin to build systems in place that will generate leads, also once the leads come in, that you'll take advantage because you'll have a speed to lead where you'll talk to those folks as fast as possible. You'll have a nurturing program that gives value to them, that moves them down that trust process, and then you lead to the conversion portion of that. When you understand that that three-step process and every single step in that process is important, everything begins to change. The next understanding is, is that the money is in the follow-up. You see, you can generate all the leads like we were talking about. You can hold all the open houses. You can build rapport when people come into an open house, but if you don't follow up with those folks, nothing is going to happen. This was a hard lesson for me to learn. I kept wondering why I would have these open houses. I would have a good number of people come through. I would hit it off with those folks, and then nothing would happen. They wouldn't call me. It's because they're waiting on me to call them. You have to be consistent in that follow-up. You have to be the person there's going to initiate that follow-up, continue to add value. We're in a society today where they're telling us that it takes seven to nine times or impressions before someone even recognizes who we are. Consistency in the follow-up is key if you're going to build an effective business. The tenth understanding falls right in line with what we just talked about is, is that consistency is key. You have to understand that whatever it is you're doing, whatever you're committing yourself to, if that's farming a neighborhood, you need to commit to a long-term consistent flow of information and value to that neighborhood. If you're going to be on social media, consistency is key. You have to continuously be adding value in that realm that you're doing. Consistency is key in that follow-up we just talked about. Consistency is key when you're talking about homeowners and consistently letting them know what the value of their house is. When you understand that everything boils down to how consistent you are, how top of mind you are for those clients, now we're at a position where that consistency can lead to conversion. Last but not least is that platinum is better than gold. We all grew up hearing the golden rule, treat other people how you want to be treated. But in reality, there was a book that was written that talks about the fact that the platinum rule is even better than the golden rule. And here's what the platinum rule says. The platinum rule says, treat other people the way they want to be treated. You see, when you come to a place and you understand that this isn't even about you, this is a business that is driven by the fact that you can add value in the way they want to receive it. I'll give you a couple of um, hints on how you can do this. If you're someone and you've called people and they text you back after you've left them voice messages, text them back. They would prefer for you to communicate with them through text. If you're someone and you see that when you send an email, they respond back to your email, or if you ask them to call, they actually send you an email back, start utilizing email. If you send them a text and they immediately pick up the phone to call you, start calling them. Understand what it is and how they want to be communicated to. Give them the value they want. When someone tells you that they would like to have information about houses as they come on the market, set the system up. Make sure you're consistently giving them exactly what they want in the way they want it. When you do that, relationship happens faster and also your business grows faster because by giving them what they want in the way they want it, your business can't help but grow. I hope this video has helped you understand this business a little more than you did before. If you haven't had a chance, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click that little bell on the side. It'll give you a notification every time that we post a new video. I hope this has been helpful and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.